Hi YouTube. In this video, I test the new RTX 4070 GPU in rendering using Blender versus the older RTX 3080 10GB and the 3080 Ti 12GB. So on the screen you can see the three GPUs that I tested. The 4070 is on the bottom. Take special note of how small it is. It's just like GPUs used to be. Two fans, two slot. Uh, compared to the other two GPUs, it's a lot smaller, and it only has a TDP of 200 watts versus 320 and 350 for the 3080 and 3080 Ti. And as you can see, they both have around 12 gigabytes of video RAM. Okay, so here's the biggest benefit of having such a small card. You can see that um, the 4070 easily fits into my Dell T3600 case, which is what most of my render machines are made of. And you can see that there's plenty of room for a second one to fit in. And um, with how the power is set up in the Dell, I can actually power two of these safely. Here is a slot thickness comparison. The 4070 is two slots. The 3080 is about 2.3 slots. And the 3080 Ti is about 2.5 slots. Okay, so now we'll get into the actual testing. So uh, this is Render 1. It's one of those Dell T3600 machines, and it has the RTX 4070 installed. And as you might have guessed, I am a fan of the RTX 4070 GPU. I know a lot of gaming benchmarks and um, YouTubers kind of have cast some shade at it. I think for 3D art, it's, it's a good deal, maybe not a great deal, but 3080 slash 3080 Ti speed, 12 gigabytes of VRAM, and only 200 watts of power is is pretty incredible to be completely honest for the price that you can get these for. This is my test scene, I call it Diamonds. It is a 100 frame animation that I use to test my GPUs. The RTX 4070 ran this scene in 74 minutes. Now on to the test. It's the same scene that I ran, 100 frames on the Diamonds test scene, and this one is the 3080 Ti. And as this runs, I'll say that these older um, 80 series cards are definitely still really fast cards. There's nothing wrong with them. They just use a little bit more power. So depending on the cost of the cards and you know where you can get them, uh, they're probably a toss up with the 4070. But the 3080 Ti ran this test scene in 58 minutes. That's quite a bit faster than the 74 minutes on the 4070. Now for the last test, I took the 3080 Ti out of the Render 10 machine and installed the RTX 3080. And I'll show you the frames here. Now the RTX 3080 is the one that a lot of people are comparing the 4070 to. And you can see from the test that uh, that comparison makes a lot of sense. As for the results, the RTX 3080 finished the scene in 67 minutes. So this is 7 minutes faster than the 74 minutes of the 4070 and nine minutes slower than the 3080 Ti. Here are the results one more time. So as you can see the RTX 4070 is in the ballpark with the 80 series GPUs from 3000 series. So one thing I'm going to do going forward is start making a master list of all of my benchmark results for GPUs and this will include AMD GPUs so if you're interested in that watch for it. Uh, just a heads up, they're not as good yet, but that's all a software problem, and we'll cover that as we go. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like and sub and all that stuff if this was helpful or you found it entertaining, and hope to see you again soon.